All right, y'all, we're back. So it looks like a new content creator has popped up on the scene exposing Ikomi, Omi, and, you know, the affiliates of the project, which, I mean, it's kind of crazy. So he's going through, seems to be getting a lot of evidence and things that was said and stuff that's turned out to be blatant lies and things of that nature. So we're going to be going through some of them here. This is the <laughs> this is the Twitter right here, and it's, it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting read, man. So let's see. He says, who says you need an exchange? Then we go here. We see the price of the OMI token. <laughs> Exchanges are absolutely a priority for us as a company. They aren't reflected on the stack or roadmap as they are features and utilities specifically for their marketplace. But it doesn't mean we aren't listening to the community. And then 20, uh, this is 2019. Did you know you can convert your crypto within the Ecomi app? Stop risking your assets on exchanges and keep them in the most convenient code wallet available. Who says you need an exchange? Now you can convert your crypto within the Ecomi app. Get the real market um, real market rate and never risk sending it to the wrong address. With the crypto with the crypto world in turmoil, the likelihood that some exchanges go out of business just increase. You know what they say, not your keys, not your coin. So this was, I mean, obviously two different statements, two different perspectives, and it was at two different times as well. But this is Ecomi saying that you should protect your crypto using their product. This is him saying exchanges are absolutely a priority while them saying, while they were saying you don't really need an exchange. It's just, you know, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of foolery going on here. So, I mean, it, it yeah, that that's, that's that one. Let's move on to the next next exhibit. When the CEO of Stack Stacker gets a taste of humble pie from Jim Lee himself. Mmm. So, Dr. Prophet, these comic NFTs are a piece of garbage. And then he said, Are you being serious right now? They were approved by Jim Lee himself and are not scanned. You may not like this style of having graded comics, but it's not garbage. A lot of people love them. Can you point me to the information that he personally he personally approved it? Then, Jim Lee, will this suffice? The amazing DC production team spent several weeks working on replicating a vintage look that looked natural, not just on the covers, but from page to page, so the weathering effects looked random, like in real life. Really created a beautiful Fox vintage look. I mean... That looks like he said that. I mean, it, it looks like it looks like he he said what what my man said that he said. Um, come on, bro, it's his opinion. He is a nice guy. Okay, it looks like he's responding with more proof. He said it's his opinion. He's a nice guy. Let's see what he responded. Preparing for a great 2023. I will block from now on everyone who insults or mocks other Twitter users in my chat. Everyone who insults or mocks other Twitter users. You mean like yourself when you were harassing other users by comparing them to wine and school girls? Pretty hypocritical in my opinion. And Dr. Prophet said, I still stand by this comparison. Only wine and school girls felt attacked. Real man did not feel attacked. So, Mr. Real Man himself, you know, he, they don't feel attacked. Let's see. Um, yes, probably doubt that. Do the math. BB sold hundreds of millions in the primary market. App Store cut plus unknown licensor fees plus overhead plus Alex Margaritas will eat into that top line revenue pretty quickly. <laughs> you And Dr. Prophet said, you want to put your money where your mouth is? Same rules. Or just fudding and then chicken out like a small wine and school girl. So, yeah, this is this is them showing Dr. Prophet not being that great of a guy. I mean, listen, I mean, I, I, I ain't never said that. I'm not toxic, but a lot of people just try to make you forget history, you know? Let's see. He said, yeah, real stand-up guy. Let's see what this one is. In our business, we have a rule. The less valuable clients complain the most. I guess it works the same f way for Vivi. Sheesh. Okay. So basically, everybody who's complaining is poor. <laughs> a multimillionaire saying that to the community is crazy work. I guess it's good that you're good at business because, I mean, the reason that you have to go this hard for Vivi is because you're clearly a shit investor. So that being said, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. That's just my personal opinion, though, because I mean, it's kind of. Eh. 
But also, I've heard some rumors and allegations about how his success even came to be, which ain't it wouldn't shed the, the brightest light, the best light. But listen, that's none of my business. We don't talk about that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Just know, I've heard things. Nah, what I'm saying. But anyway, are we still using soon here? VV. The VV verse is rolling out later this year, giving you more customization over your showrooms and digital space. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you would love to see in our metaverse. And this was in 2021. It is 2024. That still has not rolled out. Um, he also says, um, question, land for everyone in the VV verse? Land for everyone in the VV verse. Each piece of land will be its own NFT, so it will be limited. Oh, limited land is coming to the VV verse? Is that still a plan? I don't know. It looked like a glorified showroom. I don't know. Is, is the, those pieces of land we saw in that like NFTs? Because that didn't look like NFTs to me. But hey, what do I know? Then they say VV verse integration with Omi and utility. We will be selling land that can be purchased that can purchase with fiat or Omi. Any Omi spent on land or anything we don't have IP limits on can be burnt, diminishing the circulating supply all based on demand. So Omi token utility, that would be amazing if they actually delivered. So promised utility that has not been delivered. And yeah, in a whole metaverse that hasn't been delivered yet, by the way. So yeah, let's see. VV also says, will you set up a brokerage for rentals in the VV verse, a VV Airbnb? Hey, the idea is to build out renting capabilities renting land space for a watch party concert taking photos of collectibles for a weekend etc this will be a much later addition to the vverse so that that's what was promised and then uh this is dan saying um are we still using hashtag soon here so i mean hashtag soon a bunch of soons that still have not been seen interesting work here interesting work on to the next one. Next exhibit. Wonder if it was if it was the price or the bland nothingness. So, Reese, they got him. They caught my man's lacking. He said, usually it's not the price that skate that shakes out the last hodlers. It's the months of bland nothingness we have to sit through before we round out on we round out the bottom and the DCA investors start snapping up supply. I held conviction in the last one. You can bet I'm doing the same this one. So Reese is doing the same. Hold the line, fam. Hoddle. Then <laughs> Reese's wallet. Amount transferred out. 168,000 Omi sold. That is crazy work. That is crazy work. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of content here. <laughs> he said, hold the line, fam, while I dump on you. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey they, they wilding right now, bro. Hey, hey, all evidence is crazy. Nah, bro, all evidence is wild. You got your Randy clips? Nah, nah, this got to be hilarious, bro. Like, this has to be a good one. Let's see. When Omi to NFT happens on VV, I don't know if I'll be able to control myself. Not including betting Omi for a guaranteed drop. Tons of people like me with no self-control that will burn through Omi trying to get drops. Okay, no self-control. I, I, I appreciate that. Appreciate the honesty there. Stacker, the premium digital collecting marketplace is now live for public testing. Buy and sell VV collectibles with Omi for the first time ever. Okay, so the Omi utility is finally here. Um, Omi to NFT is finally here. Um, and yeah, nothing's, nothing's going on, essentially. Not nothing, not like this. This is actually horrible. So, yeah. I mean, this is the people people choose to listen to. I mean, we can we can go through, we can go through all the the moon boys and all the people out here who has, you know, who has to say all of this stuff is, you know, all of this stuff is good is bullish for the project, but. There's a reason that the sentiment of this project is where it's at. And yeah, I mean, listen, I, I got to give it a follow. I don't know who's behind it at all, but 
hey, they're, they're doing they're doing a good job. I got to be honest, they're doing a pretty good job. So I, I'll, I'll see what else they got going on. Because truthfully, I talk about a lot of the stuff that I remember, but I can't be asked to just go back through all my videos and go back through all this kind. It's stuff that's been deleted from Ecomi's platforms and all type of stuff. It's, it's stuff that's been been blocked or, or, or taken away from social media. Like, I, I'm not gonna be going through looking for proof of all the stuff that I talk about. I just remember what was said, and you know, you can't, you can't trick me out of knowing the things that I know. So, that being said, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. How do you all feel about all of this stuff going on right now? This was pretty interesting. That being said, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.